informed this Honorable House about the Blaster participation in the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament in Cote d'Ivoire. Mr. Speaker, the statement will focus on the team preparation, participation, outcomes, and the way forward. Mr. Speaker, the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament in Cote d'Ivoire is by annual competition is undoubtedly the most prestigious football competitions in Africa. Since its inception in 1957, Ghana has participated in 2023 edition out of the 34 edition, winning four times, 1963, 1955, 1978, and 1982, and also five times runners-up in 1968, 1970, 1992, 2010, and 2015. Mr. Speaker, 55 CAF member countries draw from the continent. Continent Football Federation participated in the qualifiers round. 25 countries qualified for the tournament, where Ghana was placed in Group B together with Egypt, Kivet, and Mozambique. Mr. Speaker, this tournament, the 34th edition, was a postponement of the initially agreed 2023 competition, began on the 13th January 2024, and ended on the 11th February 2024. Objectives for our national team. Mr. Speaker, Ghana went into the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament with the overall goal of returning the enviable and great trophy which was shown to the good people of Ghana in November 2023 was showcasing Ghana's rich cultural adversity, trade and investment opportunity, and commitment to the common good of Africa. Especially, Mr. Speaker, like any other tournament, Ghana participated with the intention of winning all the three matches at the group stage, winning the knockout stages at each round, and progress towards the final, enhancing the happiness and satisfaction of Ghanaians, promoting dignity and the image of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, to achieve the objective above, there was the need to ensure adequate preparation for the team and also mobilize resources to complement government efforts on the team and other related expenses. The need to seek corporate support was to ensure the ministry was able to facilitate the travel of funds and officials out of government funding to cheer up the blasters. Mr. Speaker, fundraising. An amount of 400,000 was received by the Ghana Football Association from MTN Ghana. This contributed immensely, complementing government expenditure towards the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament. Technical team and the preparation. Mr. Speaker, the team, the technical team for the Blaster at the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament was led by Chris Hutton alongside two assistant coaches. Mashut Didi Dramani and George Burton. The Minister of Youth and Sports offered the coach and the technical team all the needed support to aid their work. Other technical personnel, including the goalkeeper, goalkeeper's coach, media manager, the medical, video analyst, physical trainers, physiotherapists, and scouts, were with the team. The team underwent a series, series of rigorous training, fitness, mentoring and coaching exercise, leading to the final selection of 27 players who commenced camping on the 1st January 2024 in Kumasi. The names of the selected 27 players of the Black Star Squad were submitted to the Confederation of African Football, CAF, prior to the team departure to Abidjan on Wednesday, 10th January 2024. Friendly matches. Mr. Speaker, as part of the Blast Star preparation, a friendly match was played against Namibia at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium on the 8th January 2024, and it ended goalless draw. Pre-tournament camp in Kumasi. The, Black, the Ghana Football Association initially requested approval from the team to camp in South Africa to prepare the, for the tournament. However, the ministry, after careful deliberation with the Ghana Football Association, decided that the team should camp in Ghana. This was to help the players acclimatize 
with the weather conditions as Ghana has similar climate conditions with Cote d'Ivoire. The Ministry also found it prudent to come in Ghana to reduce the financial burden on the states. This resulted on the team pre-tournament campaign in Kumasi in Ashanti region. Prior to the team pre-tournament camp in Kumasi, the head coach of the Blaster named a provisional squad from the final 27, uh, the final 27 players were selected. All the major European clubs released their players to the call up to the national team two weeks to the tournament, with the exception of Mohamed Kudus of West Ham United Football Club, who, due to hamstring injury, joined the team two days prior to the departure from Kumasi. The blaster arrived in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, for the Afcon tournament on the 10th January 2024, clad in a beautiful traditional kente and sandals, with a host of global media covering the blaster arrival. It offered our country opportunity, to, a, a, our country a, a perfect opportunity to highlight and market some of our traditional aspects to the world. Keeping the team focused, the ministry ensured that adequate provision of financial support and logistics to keep the team motivated, inspired, focused before and during the tournament. In view of this, the Ministry of Defense Force, with the support of the Ministry of Finance, ensured that all monetary issues, especially bonuses, allowances, were amicably, amicably discussed and agreed upon by all stakeholders and resolved before the tournament. The ministry, with, with the ministry in collaboration with the Ghana Football Association, also ensured the establishment of strong team bond, respect, dignity, support, and team ethics prior to and during the tournament. Essentially, government support to the Ghana Football Association, the blast that was adequate, and Ghana ensured that key areas such as financial commitment, technical support, team preparation, team reinforcement, motivation, as well as passionate support for the team in the stands were all met. Blaster's performance. Mr. Speaker, the Blaster began their campaign against Cape on the 14th January 2024 at the State Felix Ofobanye Stadium in Abidjan and lost by two goals, one, and lost one goal to two. The Blaster's second match against the Pharaohs of Egypt was keenly contested between the two teams. At the end of the match, Ghana drew against Egypt by a score of 2-2. Going to the third match, with one point, Ghana required a win to advance to the next stage of the competition in, in, in their final group match against Mozambique, which unfortunately ended 2-2 draw. At the end of the group stage, the Blaster had two points which was not enough to ensure our qualification to the next stage of the tournament. Benefit of AFCON to Ghana. In spite of the inability of, to qualify from the group stage to the next round of the tournament, participating in the Africa, 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament without doubt gave Ghana some intangible benefits. Some of them are as follows. The pride of participation. Ghana was among the 24 countries out of the 55 African countries which qualified for the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament. This undoubtedly raised Ghana international recognition and image as one of the powerhouse football nations in Africa. Tourism and investment opportunities. The 2023 African AFCON afforded Ghanaian private businessmen, football investors, the media who traveled to the African Cup of Nations opportunity to build football, continental football and sports business. In spite of all these off-field benefits, the main objective of participating in AFCON tournament for Ghana as one of the top football nations in Africa is always to leave a remarkable imprint on the field and has been, as it has been done in previous tournaments. It is therefore regrettable that we could not achieve our main objective of qualifying from the group stage and also making impact in the knockout stages. Technical vacancy. Following the Ghana exit, Ghana's, Ghana's early exit from the 2023 African Cup of Nations, coach Chris Hutton was relieved of his job as a blaster coach. 
This has led to vacancy ahead of assignment, ahead of other assignments by the Blaster in 2024. The Ghana Football Association has since set up a five-member committee to commence discussion on the appointment of a new coach and a technical team for the Blaster, as we have agent World Cup qualifiers in the Osprey. Budget, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our estimated budget for the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament was 8 million. 506,450 United States dollars. And this was to cater for the pre tournament stages, that is our pre campaign stages. The tournament phase, that's the group stages, and also the 160 stage, quarter finals, semi finals, and the finals. If we have gone through all the stages up to finals, Mr. Speaker, Ghana, the estimated budget would have been 8,506,450. United States dollars. Out of this amount, an amount of 5 million and 70,840.36 cents United States dollars was released by the Ministry of Finance, of which 3 million and 70,067.81 cents was spent on the team pre campaign in, uh, in Kumasi, that is buying flight tickets for all our team players and technical team from their base to Ghana and also taking them to Kumasi and also making sure that their per diems are paid, the flight arrangement for the team, medicals, equipment and logistics, hospitality. This resulted in a surplus of two million and one hundred and seventy seven thousand fifty and point seventy two thousand and 0.55 cents after the, our early exit from the tournament. Mr. Speaker, the ministry had negotiated to pay bonuses should the team progress to the next round of the tournament. Therefore, no qualification bonuses were paid, were, were paid due to the team early exit at the group stage. Mr. Speaker, these measures were adopted by the ministry was aimed at motivating the team to go all out and progress from the groups uh, from one stage of the competition to another, and also to ensure prudent management of resources. Way forward, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, the blaster performance in the last major tournament, that is 2020, 2021 Afcon in Cameroon, 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, and the 2023 Afcon in Cote d'Ivoire, where Ghana exits at the group stage of all these three major tournaments, notwithstanding government continuous huge investments in the team is not acceptable. The Ministry of Youth and Sports is aware of disappointments among, Ghan among the Ghanaian populace and therefore intend to put measures that will lead to the national dialogue of all stakeholders to come out with modern and inclusive way of managing our national teams. Our blood star will shine again. Mr. Speaker, I must say that the past two weeks have been a very difficult one and worrisome to me as the Ghana's Minister for Youth and Sports. And the exit of the blaster from AFCON has also thrown millions of football lovers in our country into a realm of sadness, frustration and anger. I share in their pains and frustration. I identify with their questions and demands that they have raised. I know that Ghana football development must take a new turn. Mr. Speaker, as the Minister, I deeply regret the early exit from the, of the blaster from the group stage of the AFCON and the disappointment and disaffection their performance has brought upon our country weighed me down as a Minister for Youth and Sports. But as a proud and a strong football nation, the blaster will rise again, inshallah. We are left with just one option. And that option is to do whatever is necessary to build, football, to build Ghana's football and give the blaster a rebirth. As we, as we move quickly to put behind us the unfortunate experience of AFCON, we will take deliberate and bold steps to reinvent out the football development strategies. We will seek both indigenous and foreign talent and support to advance our football. Football remains a culture in Ghana a source of pride for Ghanaians at home and abroad. And this is why it is time for a national assignment for all of us to support the reforms that will soon be unfold. I am 
affectionately grateful to the millions of Ghanaians at home and abroad for supporting and standing by the blasters. Thank you for your patriotism. Indeed, I must thank all the players who wore the blaster jerseys proudly. Thank you for your commitment, dedication, selfless service to the national team and Ghana as a whole. The fact that we have lost out of, lost out of the AFCON does not mean we have lost out of our football glory. No, rather it is a challenge for us to reinvent and do better. In fact, it is a challenge for us to come, up, to come back, the blaster of Ghana will come back. Our football power will return. And I plead for patience and understanding from our nation, that is a nation that is in love with football. Also, the ministry intends to support grassroots football development to harness talent by the establishment of coach football and inter-schools competition across the country. And this year budget, there was allocation for ninth economy and this not economy, economy, the intention is to make sure that we start national sports festival from the district level, regional level to the national level to develop more talent. This is extremely important in order to complement, to completely win back confidence of Ghanaians through their true better management and improved performance by the national team in all competitions. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, I would like to reiterate the Minister's disappointment and my personal displeasure and the shock of many Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian people over the blaster abysmal performance and inability to progress from the group stage where Ghana was tipped to qualify to the next round as well as, had all, as we all had in, anticipated. The support for the national team was massive as government, parliament, corporate Ghana and the good people of Ghana did our best to rally behind the team. Unfortunately, what we hope did not materialize. The government through the Ministry of Youth and Sports is committed to spearheading the needed institutional and structural reform to ensure, to ensure a brighter future for the blasters. Mr. Speaker, let me use this opportunity to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, for his continuous and unwavering support to the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the national team to deliver within the expectations of Ghanaians. I'm, Mr. Speaker, I'm also grateful to you, Mr. Speaker, for your continuous guidance and support to me and the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and also to the, my colleagues in this August House for the support before and during the tournament. Finally, Mr. Speaker, the government is grateful to all Ghanaians for their unwavering support to the Blasters. And Mr. Speaker, thank you so much.